Thank you for calling Nintendo's Powerline, which is back for one weekend only to celebrate the release of the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition system, now available in stores at a suggested retail price of only $59.99. From your first Goomba stomp to defeating Ganon and getting the Triforce, the original Nintendo Entertainment System played host to many of gaming's most memorable moments. And now, a new miniaturized version is here, preloaded with 30 of the all-time greatest NES games, including The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros. 3, and Metroid. Just plug it in and play. If your NES skills are a little rusty, don't worry. Some of the original gameplay counselors are here to share a few top tips, and maybe even a story or two of their days on the original Gameplay Counselor Hotline. To hear a gameplay tip for The Legend of Zelda, press 1. To hear a gameplay tip... Hi, I'm Pat Wells. During my days as a gameplay counselor, I sometimes helped players beat a game from beginning to end. Most often it was The Legend of Zelda, which was a tricky game to get to back before you could look up answers on the internet. A player would call after getting stuck in a dungeon, then call back an hour later asking for help on the next dungeon, and then the next. By the end of the day, they might have called me a dozen times. But it was always rewarding when you help someone navigate a difficult dungeon, find a missing item, or beat that tough boss. We were gameplay counselors, and our job was to turn players' frustrations into victory. Sometimes the callers were so young, they didn't even know their left from the right. You tell them to go two screens to the right, and they say, is that towards my kitchen or is that towards my living room? But that would always make me smile. Speaking of The Legend of Zelda, did you know beating the game unlocks a second quest with new dungeons and new hiding places for everything? If you'd like to start the second quest right away without beating the main quest first, just start a new game and register your name as Zelda. The second quest is a lot tougher, so good luck. Now you're playing with power. To hear a gameplay tip for Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. 3, press 1. To hear a gameplay tip for Metroid, press 2. Hi, I'm Melvin Force. I got my job as a gameplay counselor in 1990 after participating in Nintendo's Power Fest. I lost the tournament, but still got the job. Since I would answer hundreds of calls a day, I tried to make them as fun as possible for both the players and myself. I especially enjoyed it when someone would be so excited to speak to me that they'd forget the game that they were playing and where they were stuck. Since I could usually hear their game in the background, I'd tell them what it was and they would freak out that I knew. I could also guess where they were stuck most of the time because I'd just taken lots of calls from other people with the same problem. So while it may have sometimes seemed like we gameplay counselors could read minds, we couldn't. Or could we? Let me give this a shot. You're looking for Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers. Here are a couple of good ones. In Super Mario Brothers, after you've lost all your lives and returned to the title screen, hold A and press Start. You'll continue at the beginning of the world you ended on. For Super Mario Brothers 3, look for white blocks. If you stand on one and press down for about five seconds, Mario will fall through it and go behind the scenery for a short time. If you do this on World 1-3, you'll find a warp whistle that will let you skip to Worlds 2, 3, or 4. The Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition lets you enjoy the good old days of gaming like never before with pixel-perfect and retro display modes and suspend points that let you save anywhere in the game. The system comes bundled with an HDMI cable, an AC adapter, one NES Classic controller, and all 30 games installed and ready to play. Additional controllers are sold separately. Revisit favorite gaming memories and make new ones. The wonderful world of 8-bit awaits. And now for your final gameplay tip. Hi, I'm Mark Doyle. I started as a gameplay counselor in 1990, the same year that one of my favorite NES games came out, Star Tropics. Be one of my favorites. You see, back in the day, people rented a lot of games, and if you rented Star Tropics, chances were you didn't get the physical letter that came packaged with it. The letter not only set up the plot, but at a certain point in the game, you are told to dip the letter in water to reveal a secret code that's needed to continue. It worked like magic, but if you didn't have the letter, you were stuck. I took so many calls about this that after a while, when someone said, I'm playing Star Tropics, I'd sometimes say 747 before they could even finish. They would laugh and say, no way, how did you know that? Now, there's no letter included with the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition system, but I have it on good authority that the 747 code can be found in the Quick Start Guide. Now, I owe you a tip for Metroid. To play as Samus without her armor, go to the password screen and enter Justin Bailey. That's J-U-S-T-I-N-B-A-I-L-E-Y. 
all caps, followed by 12 spaces. This will also put you far into the game with lots of power-ups. Have fun! Thank you for calling Nintendo's Power Line. Don't forget to check out the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition, available now at a suggested retail price of $59.99. For more information, visit Nintendo.com.